What's up, Space Cadets? This is KG48, and welcome back to my Imperia Galactic Survival Let's Play. Last video, I got my command vessel. Why do I keep calling it command vessel? I don't know why I keep doing that. Capital vessel cage. Got my capital vessel, and I started using the capital vessel mining laser to mine asteroids. This thing is unbelievably cool. You guys need to go back and check that check out that video if you haven't already. Uh, mining the asteroids with this laser is the best thing ever. All right. Pretty cool. I love that thing. Okay, so today we will be looking for a new home planet. Uh, I'll let you guys talk about it in the comments. And the consensus seemed to be mostly, uh, you know, I gave you guys the option between attacking a space station in this planetary system or going to find a new home. You guys want to see this base built. I know you want me to find a new home. And the, mo the majority of the people seem to want me to find a new home. Uh, if you enjoy this video, please remember to give that like button a little the old clickety click. And also, if you're new here, uh, please subscribe for more daily videos. So let's get started. All right, I'm going to bring you up to speed on what I did in between videos. Won't take long. So let's go take a look at it. I went ahead and mined a ton of blue crystals. You guys told me how to say them, say the name. I don't know. I kind of like the word blue crystals. But I think it's called Pentac... Pentax, id, Pentaxid, something like that. Someone told me in the comments, I'm sorry, I didn't write it down. But anyway, as you can see right here, our warp drive is completely filled. Um, I did a quick count of that. I think it's 63 three spots, um, but I'm not really positive. I think it's about that. And I went ahead and actually got a lot more blue crystals off camera because I wanted to do it off camera. I've got another 66 in here. So I've got enough uh, Pentax. I'm going to call it blue crystals. I, I'll look up the name in between this and next video, I promise. Um, so anyway, I got more blue crystals, enough to fill up that entire entire warp drive again. So I think we're looking pretty good. Okay, so I also had a few power coils. So I went ahead and made four auto mining devices, tier three. These are the ultimate auto mining devices. I, went as, I made as many fusion cells as I could, and I was originally going to start using these small fuel packs just to get rid of them. And one of you guys in the comments, uh, did I write your name down? If I didn't, I apologize. Nope, I did. Colonel, uh, Colonel Eviscer Eviscerator. <laughs> Um, you should just save the crappy little Prometheum cells. Basically, what he wanted me to do is save these for ammo for laser weapons. And that's a really good idea. I'm going to leave these in here because I've actually got quite a bit of them anyway. But I'm going to start switching them out for the big fuel packs. I did the same thing right here. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, let's dump those in at least. All right. So, um, Hugs a lot said something too. Here, I wrote this down. You could clear space on the right part of the ca uh, the capital vessel for more of tier few tier two tanks. I'm thinking he means I can clear out some of these walls over here. Um, the reason I'm not going to do that is because I care what the what the vessel looks like, and I think it looks really cool. So I'm okay with the way it is right now. Good idea though. I could do that. Um, I'm just not going to. Um, uh, Tarek said I found the basic resource. He said. He, she said, I'm not sure if that's a female or a male. Um, I found all basic resources in Ningus orbit, but it's kind of hard to keep track of them since they're not, on, since they're not on your map until you get close to them. So I'm looking for a new place to live. I'm thinking of either Ningus, Ningus. Yeah, I think I'm saying that right. Or Masperon. Okay. Uh, they both sound like really cool places to live. They're both possible starting planets. I looked up a lot of different planets. Like I wanted to start on like hard planets. Uh, or not start on hard planets. I wanted to move to a bit of a harder planet. But the problem is, I like the idea of aliens and drones coming to kill me. What I don't like the idea is limited materials on those planets. A lot of the harder planets that I wanted to live on do not have basic materials uh, nodes on the planet. Like iron and stuff like that. These two that I talked about, Masperon and Ningus, are starting planets, which means they have everything you're going to need. Uh, they don't have the... They don't have the uh, special resources, but that's okay. I can live with that. By the way, I went by hand and put all my thrusters into one one group here. So now I can turn on and off my thrusters with one click instead of clicking through each one. Now I can add things to this group or I can make another group. And the, the th I can make another group called power save mode or something like that. And what I could do is I could put, the if I'm on a planet, I could put the gravity generator in there. I can actually, I don't think I'm going to put the gravity generator on there because I might want to, well, you don't really have to turn off the thrusters in space because they're not working because you're not moving if you stop your, if you stop the, the shuttle. So not really that big of a deal, but you could throw RCS units in there and other things. Um, I might do that off camera. I'm not really sure, but we've been messing around enough on this planet. Let's get out of here. I'm sure you guys want me to get to Masperon or I'm thinking about Masperon. Uh, I don't really, 
I don't really remember what... Basically, I need a big flat area to build in, too. And that's one thing that when I was reading when I was reading up on Ningus... Um, am I saying that right? Let me make sure. Uh, Ningus. As far as I know, it's Ningus. Anyway, um, as, when I was reading up on Ningus, uh, it said something to the effect of it has a lot of mountain ranges, and it didn't sound like it had a lot of flat area. So I think we're going to go check out Maspron first. I think Maspron's probably going to be where we're going to stay. All right, guys, I'm back. I went ahead and got a way, way more blue crystals. Way, way more than I had before. Uh, hey, that rhymes. But, yeah, okay, so I'll show you what's going on in a second. Let me uh, throw some of these blue crystals over here. I figured for a trip to where I'm going and back is going to run me about 250 of these things. So let, it, let me show you why. You guys probably already know why. Probably tell me in the comments, but I did figure it out, so... Let's check this out. Okay, so, go to the map, right? Well, look. These have jump lines. I didn't realize these jump lines. Now, why I can't go straight from Akua to Maspron? In reality? I don't know. But, I think they want us to go around these lines to, uh, you know, basically make warping a big deal. They want warping to be a big deal. And, uh, oh, so there's a, there is a wormhole here. Oh, sorry about that. All right, so there is a worm, worm, worm hole here. So is that an instant jump? Can I go straight from the trade post to here instantly? I don't know. That's interesting. I didn't even notice that wormhole. So, all right. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna come around here and go this way. But there's a wormhole here. So let's uh, let's go through the wormhole. See what that's all about. Didn't even notice that. Maybe it'll be free or cheaper. I don't know. So this is 14.6 AU away. I think that's going to cost 15 blue crystals. So let's do it. All right. So when I th when we go back to the warp fuel tank, I believe we're going to have 16 left. So let's go check it out. There we go. Never get out of your seat while you're still moving. Because, well, I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think it would be good. All right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15. Okay. It is one warp. It is one crystal poor warp. Uh, you just have to go around... You know, the, the, you have to go around the little dotted areas for some reason. So let's just go fill that up again. All right, so uh, let's go. Let's see. If, let's check out this wormhole. I can't believe there's a worm wormhole. I hope it's like, like visual. You know, not just like it says it's a wormhole, but I hope it like shows something visually. Is that the that's the trading station. So is there is there like a physical physical wormhole around here? I don't see. All right, I think what that means is we can travel this way. Yep, and it's going to take 45, uh, 45, well, they round up, 46 crystals. But that's still cheaper than if we went to Skillin to Adius and then Masperon. So the wormhole is still going to help us. So let's go ahead and lock targets. We can't lock targets. Why can't we lock targets? Is the wormhole not working? Oh, okay. Well, I thought we could, but I'm not sure what is up with the wormhole. Um, If you guys know what's going on with the wormhole, do I have to go... To a physical area for the worm wor bleh, for the wormhole to work, or is it just not working yet? I'm not really sure. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and jump now. This is gonna take us more crystals now because um, the wormhole's either not working or I don't know how it works. All right, so let's um let's get back and we're gonna head on out to Masperon. Here we are in Masperon. Uh, Masperon does have a moon, which is really nice. It also has a trading station, which I don't really care about. Um, I think we're going to just go right onto the planet, look for a place to build. I think I think Masperon's where I want to build. I think it's where I want to build. I like the fact that it has a moon. Uh, the moon should have extra resources on it. The only thing is I, I, I like the fact that he said Ningus had asteroids around it that you could mine. So, mm, I really want to mine the asteroids. This thing has a lot of asteroids around it, though. They're just, they're just kind of randomly spread out. Oh, here we go. I actually spotted some Promethium. I actually spotted it before I saw it, like on the radar. So that's pretty good. That's pretty cool. And uh, Promethium is actually exactly what I needed. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna live here as long as I can find it a decent place to live. If not, we'll probably live on, we'll probably live on Ningus. So let's get as close as we can to this bad boy. Pull up around the side. That looks pretty good. And, and I love the... It, it, could you tell how much I love these lasers? Or Like, it's pretty obvious, right? Just love, love, love the, the drill turret. Alright. Beautiful. 
Be beautiful. All right, guys, let me get some Promethium and then we'll go down on the planet and look for a place to live. All right, so I'm actually out of hydrogen bottles. I went ahead and I tried to make the... Where's the constructor? There it is. I went ahead and I tried to make the the fusion cells because I had more Promethium. But um, yeah, I ran out of hydrogen bottles, not Promethium. So that's going to be an issue. I'm um, going ahead and making nine uh, oxygen hydrogen generators. Because I think I have one. Uh, if I don't have one, then I'm going to make another few. Probably like at least one for ten. Or maybe two, uh, three more for twelve. Not really sure. Uh, but anyway, in between videos, I meant to, I wanted to mention this to you and I keep forgetting, but in between videos, when I was on the, when I was on the moon, remember I found that Promethium deposit? Well, I took my, my best item, which is, you can't see it right now, but it's my, my, you know, hand drill, not hand drill, but actually, what is the damn thing called? Let's call it by its proper name. I took the, the drill tier two, which is the best hand drill I could get. And I mined out some of the Promethium and people told me they nerfed it. They nerfed the ever loving s-h-i-t out of it the thing is absolutely horrible horrible if you're mining with that thing you're done don't even oh my god this doesn't look as good as i thought it was going to uh maybe i won't live here hmm. i think we're gonna go to dingus <laughs> uh yeah this is like this is purple haze type stuff i mean it looks on like it looks otherworldly which is pretty cool, but I don't know. Just I think it might be a nice place to visit, but I don't know. I don't think I want to live here. And it's not so much that like it's difficult or anything. It just it looks like crap. I think. I mean, it looks interesting, like exotic and everything, and that's cool. But I want a place that looks cool to live, not just exotic, but looks good. I'm gonna take a look around though, see what kind of stuff we can pick here. I'm kind of curious. All right, let's turn off the. I mean, we came all the way here. We might as well at least look around. Turn off the thrusters. And let's take a look outside. Oh, by the way, I put some more lights in here. I don't know if you could tell, but... Yeah. It was really, really dark. Uh, looks like we're a little bit hungry. That's good. Let's go on down here. We don't know what's going to be around here, so let's take out our weapon. What the hell was that? Oh, I don't like this planet. And yeah, I'm not talking much because I'm a little bit unnerved. Okay. I mean, it looks interesting, but... I don't think I want to live here. See, I'd have to put my base down there. Alright, let's look around a little bit longer. I think, eh. I don't know. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Like, the purple stuff is annoying when you're flying around. But when you're down here on the planet itself, it doesn't look that bad. The thing is, Ningus is going to be just as much of a, a, of a difficult planet to live on. What is... What's over here? Yeah, Ning uh, living in Ningus will be should be just as challenging. I think it's the same, like difficulty spike, you know, level. But I don't know. I don't really like the purple, guys. It's too. Fo Imagine that it's not so much as purple. It's it's foggy. Imagine living in fog all the time. I don't know. This is this is a pretty cool place to come, but I, I don't think I want to live here. All right, guys, went here something wacky. Uh, when I was at Masprin, I could use this warp, this wormhole. I guess it's one way only. Uh, so I wonder if this is. I wonder if this arrow means that everything's one way only here, or if this is only one way only. Not really sure. But I could only go one way. Now, I came to Ningus, and someone said that uh, they found all the resources in Ningus orbit, but I don't see any asteroids. Am I missing something? If I'm missing something, please let me know, but I don't see... I don't, oh, here we go. That's the only one I see, though. Like, are they... Oh, wait, what? That's only one asteroid, though. I wonder if it's all on one asteroid or if I'm just missing them. I don't know. Those over there are the planets. So I'm not really sure. This is definitely a Promethean asteroid. I mean, 
But you said you found all of them in N Ningus Orbit? This is the only one I could find. Although, this is the only one I see. Maybe you gotta get closer to them. I'm not really sure. If I'm missing something, please let me know. But uh, having a Prometheum Asteroid is really, really good. Uh, I would hit it, but I really want to find a place to live. We'll come back up. Oh, here they are. Okay, so... Oh, alright. So the asteroids are not showing up until you get close, which is really weird. Am I... That's really weird, though. But the, the thing is, in orbit, I'm finding... Is that another asteroid over there? I think it is. Yeah, I'm just not seeing them. Either they're not showing up, or I just was too far away. Kind of like... Kind of like when you're too far away from... Ooh, Sathium, nice. Kind of like when you're too far away from a ship, you don't see them. So, uh... It's pretty nice to know they are in, they are in orbit, though. Alright, enough of that. Let's go look for a place to live. Yeah, let me know what I'm missing. I don't know. See that... See that Prometheum asteroid? I don't really see it anymore. Or maybe I'm gonna get confused with the planets in the background. And we are really running low on... On resources. Uh, well, uh, not re resources. What we're doing is we're running low on fuel. So... As a matter of fact, I think when I, once I get into the atmosphere, I'm gonna throw a bunch of more fuel in the... In the fuel container thingies. Alright. So let's do it like this. And we're not moving, so let's get out. And do we have the fuel on us? We probably do. Yes, we do. Let's throw the fuel in there. Alright, that's all the fuel we can make with those big ones. We need to find a place to set down that's going to have a ginormous area of flatness and water next to it. So, those are the main things. Okay. And this is a... This is obviously a frozen planet. It's going to be like Hoff. You know? So... Alright, that looks like a... That looks like a compound over there. We don't want to be next to any compounds. Where are we on the map? Let's take a look really quick. Uh, we are kind of... Oh, look at over here. I think over there is probably where I want to stay. Although there's water over there. Are they, each one of these water? I think they might be. Yeah, we... Oh, yeah, there's water everywhere. Okay. Alright, so we, we don't want to stay next to that building. Although we could just destroy it. Um, see, there's there's too much water here. There's no big flat area for me to put my base down. Although, I could probably just put my base down over the water. I definitely want to live closer to the equator. So, it looks like this is actually a really nice spot to live. Got a bunch of silicon, a bunch of copper. I think this looks like a pretty decent spot to live. Although, we might have to take that base out. Did we discover it yet? No, we didn't. Let's discover it. We're going to place this thing down right here for now. And we're going to go check out that base. This would be a really good spot to live. It's right near the equator, as far as I can tell. And it's got some ores next to it. Although I would like to be next to some iron ores. But I'm not going to be overly picky. We can we can get around the planet to get iron ores. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn off the thrusters. Ooh, see, is that an ice spider? See on the bottom right? I think I just saw an ice spider. That is cool. Alright, let's get in our ship and let's go check out that tower. Alright, let's try and get that. See what's going on with that base over there. Sounds like my, the guns on my uh, ship are going crazy. Oh yeah, this place is going to be a problem. Well, let's take it out. Oh! Ah. Why won't you die? Got it. All right, let's get out of here. Oh, boy. Come on. Come on. There you go. Woo! I wonder how badly I messed up. Oh, yeah. We got to repair. Okay, I didn't take that one out. I did. I got it, so that's good. gone. These green ones are a little bit easier to dodge, but they also do more damage. It looks like they have more hit points as well. 
got some drone problems. All right, we got rid of that one, so let's come on over here. Take this one out. Okay. And you're gone. All right, so that looks like it's all the turrets. I think what we'll do is we will come back with the ship and let that take care of the drones. Okay, this should be interesting. I honestly don't, don't think these drones stand a chance, but... Oh yeah, they're getting hammered already. Yeah, you can hit them from such a far range, you know? Enemy troops coming. The game sounds sound a little off, by the way. Not really sure what's up with that. I'll have to mess around with that. Do that off camera. This thing should not shoot at the the core of the base anymore. So we should be able to just sit here with our ship here and be protected. I think what we'll do is we're going to check out this base. And if it's a big base, we'll check it out for the rest of the video. If it's not a big base, we'll put down the uh, we'll put down our base. If it um, if it is a big base though, yeah, we'll just uh, we'll put down the base next video. Okay. Take a look at this bad boy. I'm gonna go through it as quickly as possible too. Alrighty. I hope it's kind of small because I don't have a lot of shotgun shells. Come on. I heard click 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 and I didn't realize it was me clicking the button and not me reloading. can't fight against two of them at once. <sighs> Come on. There we go. Alright, good. I heard something shooting. I was like, please tell me that's my, my ship. I was hitting the side of the wall. Crap, we're gonna have troop, tro troops coming in. Alright, what we're gonna do is... What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up these... We're gonna go ahead and set up our turrets to shoot at... Creatures as well, if I can. Let me see. Um, oh, they should be... They should shoot at aliens, shouldn't they? Prey and predator? Make them shoot a predator. Because I'm worried about the troop transports. Okay. It looks like we're going to be putting down the base tomorrow, guys. Sorry about that. I thought I was really going to get to it today, but... Okay, let's do this. Crap, I didn't realize there's a spawner over there. Gotta take care of the spawners, people. There's another guy down here, wasn't there? I guess there's only three. Yeah, the other guy must have wandered over there. Ooh, nice. Bunch of stuff from him. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and use one of these. Okay. Is that the troop transport? I wonder if my gun, my guns on my capital vessel will shoot the troop transport and be able to take it out. Oh, shooting at something. No, that was just a regular drone. I think that's it, guys. I don't think there's anything else to this base. I'd really like to find the core. There might be some more stuff underground, but I can't really get underground because I don't have a lot of uh, weapon. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Uh 
Uh oh. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take Hmm, can I take this out? Yep. Damn. That's even worse. Shit. I think I might have to stop. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to this base. I need grenades, dude. I can't aim straight down. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to put a. I'm gonna have to pause the video here to stop this episode because I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get down there. Um, I don't really know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm probably gonna have to blast through the floors here, getting a lot of shotgun shells. So I'm gonna call this one here, guys. I. Uh, Next video, we will clear that base out, and we will put our own base down here. And the only thing I'm thinking about... Hold on. Is that the, uh, hold on. Is that the, is that the troop transport? No. That's a drone. Oh, well. Anyway, the only thing that's going to keep me from putting the base down here is I might want... I might want to look for a place where there's, uh, Promethium or Iron Ingots. But I think we're gonna. I think next episode we're definitely gonna take the base out just on principle. But we might not. We might not actually live here, because um, thinking about it now, um, I really want either Promethium or iron, wherever I settle. So let's see what's on this planet. Yeah, so we've got a ton of these resources. So, uh, oh, there's iron. Okay, never mind. We'll take the base out and live here. The hell with it. All right. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. We'll see you next time. Until then, take it easy.